Thank you. Well, let's say hi to Tracy and, and Neil. Oh, okay. I put on my glasses. Can't see a thing. Ah. Hello there. Hi. hi. And Nilo. Good to see you. <laughs> hi. Is that Neela? Yes. Hi, Neela. I don't think I ever met you. No, I never met you. No, I am. I'm not a member. I'm just kind of saying hello during hello. A crazy time. It is a crazy time. It is a crazy time. A good time to say hello. Hello, Janice. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Kim. Hi. Hi, Neela. <laughs> Hi, Mick. Missed hello. you last time. Yeah. Hi, Mick. How are you? Good. I wanted to say, I really like your blue dumpsters in the blue show. Oh, yeah, cool. it's very good. Very good. <laughs> you can tell that it's from you. All right. Yeah, good. he has a distinctive <clears throat> style. I agree. Yeah. I have a dumpster to show tonight too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've started copying you. I took a picture of a dumpster in my nice. today. Uh, nice. I haven't painted it blue. But, you know, I, there's still time, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Sad dumpsters, they're blue. Yeah. Hi, Not all of them. Hey, Sam, I'm Sue. Diane. So, Bob, I have a little something to show tonight. Oh, good. FYI. All right, well, it's all, well, let's start at five after. Give everybody, hi, Diane, hi, Anders, hey, Susan. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. I'll uh, I'll run you at the club new web page for a while. Um, which I haven't looked. This is what's going on at the <coughs> at the plastic club. Oh, art, wait, August thirtieth. An art history reading list, huh? Yeah, that's new. Yeah, I looked at that already today and there's, um, what is it, the art of seeing or something like this? Wait, Mick, excuse me. Yeah, if you go that's down, of... when you get to it, sorry, I'm jumping the gun. That's fine. This is sort of at the beginning, we, we review what's in uh, what's going on at the plastic club. So Bob, Ron is waiting to come in? Yep. Although I don't see him in the waiting room. Oh. Oh, yes, he is. Okay. And All right, I'm going to go back to the screen. I'm going to go away from... Uh... All right, it's five after. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, the Plastic Club, you just... I just showed what's going on. Remember, their their web page is always a good source of information. Uh, who has stuff to show tonight? I do. Janice, you know, Nick, Tracy. A little one. Okay. And Michael does. And Sarah. And Sarah. All right. And Susan. All right. Well, let's start with. Uh, Tracy, we haven't seen you for a while. Yes, I've been having a long-term nervous breakdown. The last time. <laughs> well, this is good medicine. Yeah. I love what I see in the background, Tracy. Oh, thank you. My gosh. <laughs> My gosh. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Remember you. No, that's me. Oh, I had to write my bio. Okay, here we go. And share screen. It's not working. Can you see this little portrait of me? Um, damn it. So you you get your uh, picture off in the background and then you come back to class and hit share screen. 
this is what I've done. Unfortunately, you're not seeing it. That's a good thing. Um, no, we're not. The second stage is to pick from the okay. list at the bottom, the visual list, which one you want to use. Yeah. If you have multiple windows open there. Oh, you okay. You're sharing now. Okay. This is one I... Uh, ah, <laughs> we see you. It's that one's not what's supposed to be up. Here we go. Ah, oh, okay. I've discovered. Here's one. Wow. wow. Nice. And wow, that's, that's really wonderful. Cool. It's so juicy. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's juicy colors. Well, it's Mediterranean. Well, it, that's uh, Positano. Sarah's seen that. Um, nice. Nice. This one? Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, that's great. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, they're, they're yeah, my favorite. So I'm showing them off as finished works. And Tracy, these are probably large, right? Yes. Because everything you do is large. Yeah, wonderful. Um, Tell them yeah. where they're going. These are going in a restaurant called Toscana. And um, the restaurant is in Wilmington in an area known as Trolley Square. And that's not a painting, that's my house. <laughs> Are they allowed to dine inside in Delaware right now? Um, I think you can, yes, you can dine inside as long as you're uh, six feet away from your family member. Thanks. Here we go. Ah. That's not done. Um, I mean, that is done, but... For some reason, probably my ineptitude, um, a lot of these aren't coming up the way they should. This is an advanced cyber photo program, which is... The, 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 the second <laughs> one you showed, the first one was of your face, but the second one, it was... Uh, that, that one. one. Beautiful. Yeah. That's, Thank you. That is great. That's really yeah. something. That I is. That. Yeah. You know, it feels like it's warm to the touch. It's, uh, well, I would say it's my favorite of the group I did, but um, I am happy with them all for different reasons. I mean, I'm not. I'm never going to say, oh, I'm super satisfied with anything I do, but I'm I'm pretty pleased with what I've been able to do in the seven weeks I had to do it. Uh, Very good, and we're glad. glad yes, that's great it. work. Well, yeah, you're really nice. Good. It always helps to have a deadline, too. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I, I reserved space last year and I was supposed to start painting in March, but then of course things all went completely wonky and um, it didn't happen. It did not happen that we could meet so we didn't okay well thank you you're welcome Crazy, can i and, okay, and i will unspotlight you i'll cancel thank your you. spotlight spotlight that's where she fills the whole screen yeah yeah um okay uh ted's joined us ted did not get to show anything last week ted are you uh, Ted, you're you're muted. 
All right. Um, we'll, we'll wait till Ted's on. Jane, do you want to? Um, and you're muted, Jane. Okay, ready for me to do this? Ready. Okay, I'll, I'm unmuted. Ah, okay. Well, Jane's going to go and then you, Ted. Yeah, sure. So I started my painting for local inspiration. This is from a, this is just the first like sketch with burnt umber. It's a scene from Philly, my inspiration. <laughs> and uh, I, the title's going to be Welcome to Philadelphia because that's what the people will look like they're saying when it's done. By the way, the woman on the left does have pants on. It just looks like, it just looks like she doesn't. Uh, you, ruined, you ruined it now. <laughs> do you have a photograph you're working from? Yes. Yes, I do. And um, any questions? Can, can we see your photograph? Did somebody say something? Yeah, I said it's going to be spectacular. Yes, thank you. And I see masks on those faces. No, you don't. I don't? <laughs> this guy in the back? With the, the guy doing the gorilla thing? Yeah. That, mask on? That, that does look like a mask. That's just not sketched in. This was not a recent photo. Uh. So, it does look like a mask. You're right. So you started with burnt umber. Tell us more about what you're gonna what you're gonna do here, like color wise. What's your technique? Oh well, mm -hmm. uh, well, I think I'll just start. Um, the main colors in the photo, if you could pick two, it's the blue and orange. Um, so I will mix up a bunch of different colors in blue and orange, and probably. And then start doing areas. So I'll I'll start with the background, then the bridge probably. But as I do that, as I'm working with a color, like have the when I have the brush wet with the light blue for the background, then I'll I'll add light blue where it fits in other parts of the painting. Likewise with the deeper blue for the, that's the Ben Franklin bridge, the blue bridge. And um, and so I never really thought about that as my technique. When we were taught in, in college, we were taught to mix up all the colors, mix up a whole bunch of colors with just, maybe that's how you do stuff, Mick, you just have, have a few colors and you make all the colors. So I have I don't do that all the time now. I don't mix up a whole bunch of different colors, but I will do an abbreviated version of that. So, Diane asked, cool, how big is it and, and what is the surface? Oh, it's on canvas and it's 11 by 14. It's like my other one mm -hmm. was. And um, Tracy made me, made me miss doing large paintings. I used to do large paintings. Then they got too difficult to carry on the train. <laughs> so. Uh, could you tell me who that is in the background with his arms out? Is he? No. Is he no. sitting there or? He's, he has, a, he has a, a red solo cup in his hand. Uh-huh. He's, he's cheering. Oh, but he's sitting, he's sitting up high or is he jumping? He's sitting on, there's like a wall. Oh, okay. There's a wall behind them and to the left, there's a boom box on the wall. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. And the, the other person on the right also has a red Solo cup. Yeah. A little <laughs> drinking going on. Well, well I mean, summer day. Yeah, it looks very complicated to me, but... Uh... Well, that's a good point. I I want I um I scaled back from 
there was a lot of stuff on the ground. Mm. There was a little, a cup with roses in it. I think, I don't know if they were celebrating something mm. special. There were roses, there was a case of beer, there was beer cans. So um, I've simplified it. And I do wanna focus on simplifying it even more, like just make the images strong. Like if you see this city in the background, I guess that's Camden, make it just simplified. You know, well, thinking aesthetically, uh, I think you're doing it a lot of harm by like not including those beer, beer, beer cans. And <laughs> it's a character. <laughs> well, you know, well, it's not done yet. <laughs> I, who said the thing about simplify? I actually think. I mean, this is interesting because of the, the broad uh, brush strokes, you know? And uh, Great. I, I think it's, uh, I, I don't see it as being over, overly complicated personally, but. Yeah, I think there's a magic here that you, you've achieved in your shapes and the basic composition that honestly, all the background, maybe we know it because it looks like the Ben Franklin Bridge and so on, but you've connected the figures in a way that's really clever. Um, if you look at the ground and the way it just sort of bisects the ankle areas, and that's fine, that, that makes it really light on the bottom, but like the, all the juicy bits are in the middle and those figures are all connected tenuously a little bit off to the right third, but then the other characters jumping up, <laughs> up by the bridge and then the vertical of the bridge with the horizontal of the bridge, everything ties together. So there's like three strong, strong horizontals and three strong verticals. I think it's really well done. You're, you're gonna, you won't even need details that's so strong. It's just gonna yeah, need it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Well, okay. Do you have the photograph that you, so that you can show us? Um, Is it convenient? Yeah, I, I have to just run up stairs, but I, oh. can, I can get it for later if you want. Okay, let's do it later. Okay. Um, okay, I, I will close your sharing. Okay. And we Thank will look you. forward to seeing the photograph. Thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah. And uh, Ted, do you do you want to go? Sure. Uh, I go to screen share. Yep. Oh, oh, that's different. That is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everything I'm going to show you, I'm just playing with, with ideas. That's all. Um, Can you enlarge that, Ted? Enlarge. Sorry. Can enlarge. Enlarge. It? Enlarge it. Make it bigger. This is not my work. This is the work of an artist that's being shown at the uh, Pentimenti Gallery, and it's. Um, acrylic on aluminum and these things uh, either stand up on a shelf or they get hung on a wall and I just thought that was an interesting idea so what I did is I took one of my pieces this has one two three four five six planes so I did the same thing but I took one of my images and I changed the color for each plane and then I made it three-dimensional like this. So what you're going to see is not a physical object, but this is my concept of what, whoops, wrong, well, where did it go? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah but I'm waiting for, oh, shoot. Yeah, that's amazing. Huh. That's amazing. All right. Oh, so, real. Okay, forget it. Anyway. Oh, we get to see the other side of Ted. I, I, let me bring mine up. I. Your, your ones with the planes on it, yeah. Yeah, it should have been right there. Here it is. But right. now, uh, oh, okay. Nope, all right, I don't know why it's not coming up, sorry. But just forget about it. Um, I'm not a photographer, but I always carry my iPhone with me. And if I see something interesting, I'll take a photograph. Uh, and that's, that's it. But what I was doing is you guys have been playing with all these textures on Photoshop. So I thought I would uh, play with it. I really this, like that. 
This is a photograph I took of this gentleman. Um, mm. And as I make it larger, you can see the paint. I think it's the painting technique I put on this. Oh. Almost looks mm. like a painting. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could play with the settings to get uh, bigger or smaller brush strokes, you know? Yeah. And I did a close up wherever that just got into. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we, we, let's put you in the same status as Jane who's going to get the photograph. No, I'm going to go to the next one. Later, if you if you can get your... Okay, here's the... No, I want to finish. Okay. Uh, this is a, a window I took downtown. And here's the painter's technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, the, oil. yeah. That's the oil paint. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just interesting that it... Uh, for some reason, it reminds me of Chuck Close. I don't know why, but... I was just going to say that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know why. That is, that is very, very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, this is, Ted, that's cool. That's really good. This is a window, I, a photograph of a window I took in Connecticut in black and white. And I put this one, um, what do you call it? Um, filter? Filter on there that I, I thought I would never use. It's called something like shrink wrap. Yeah. But I tried it for the heck of it, and it just... Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Perfect. It really works. This is a perfect image for that. Yeah, look at it. I mean, it just was made for it. Very uh, MC Escher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here like it is. Alive. Oh, oh, that's really That's wonderful. So here's where I took the same image, and I made it different colors, and then I put it in this shape and that's what it would look like if it was real. So. It's better than the, nice. the inspiration nice. one. Yeah, it's interesting. I'll probably do something like that for the plastic club. Uh, I like this better than the one you started with. Huh? I like this better than the one you that inspired you. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't care for his work that much. I, mean, I just thought it was very clever. You know? yeah. So Now this is a photograph I took of the window at the Plastic Club on a stormy day. And I tried that painter technique again with this. It almost looks like a Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like magic. It's really good. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I, I, I don't know if I'll ever put it in my, in my own work, but it's just been fun playing with it. Uh, this was a young lady in waiting. Um, and I tried the painting no, the texture, just a texture on her. Just can, I, can I say something? Yes. I, I, don't, I really love your photographs of, especially the people. They're, they're magnificent. Um, I really, I'm sorry, I don't get why you're playing with them. And the, like, they're just great photographs. So like, I mean, you've really got a talent for capturing people. Mm, yes, this, it is. this is amazing. And so was the guy with the dog. So yeah. it's just a great photograph the way it is. And I'm not, you know, I, I understand maybe, you know, the contrast or something, but I, I really don't get trying to make it look like something else with whatever, whatever is being done with it. I'm, they're just great photographs. And just in and of themselves. Well, thank you. I have to agree. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I just picked these out because I don't have that many photographs that I took. But uh, believe me, the originals are untouched. I wouldn't. I would not fool with the original. But I, I think my question is: is like <laughs> I just don't. I'm sorry. Um, my my cat is uh, coming out to join me. Um. <laughs> I just, I guess I just, they're just wonderful the way they are, is, is all I'm trying to say. I, I just. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I think I, my, my instinct on doing so, uh, something like that would be to uh, use a mask to select out the person. Because I'm not so crazy about putting textures on people, on their skin anyway. You know, sometimes it's okay in their hair or, or clothes or something. But, you know, I would be inclined to take that woman and 
mask her, put the texture on the background, but not on her maybe, and, and you know, or maybe just on selective, you know, like on her pants or something. But, mm -hmm. you know, it just that, you know, it's like Diane was saying, it's a, it's a nice photo. So, but I just think that people themselves, I just feel a little reluctant to mess with the way they are, um, you know, with their images, mm -hmm. unless it's a, it's a clear improvement. Uh, I, just, that's just my opinion. Yeah. A reflection off this building behind us. Yeah. The Creek Station, I guess this belongs to Amtrak. And again, I tried this technique, or one of the techniques. At this point, I don't even know what technique. But I started getting all these readings into this thing. It was kind of like an Aztec or something. Yeah, it looks like masks. Yeah. Really nice. Um, it is fun to experiment with these things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> at least it is for me. And this is a... Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. A clinging vine down the street from me on one of the buildings. Right. And I did throw that texture on it. Here's the texture I put on it, right there. I think it works with this image. What does it seem to work? Uh, it looks like birds in a tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah I didn't notice that myself. Uh, um, is this from uh, Photoshop or? Yeah, Kim? Photoshop, yes. Photoshop. Again, I didn't mess with the original. Just these are. I was just using these. For, that that reminds me of the Plastic Club had a vine on its garden wall for years, and I loved it. And I think they took it down. It's not yeah. in profusion like it was. And that is very much like it. And it's gorgeous. Oh, uh, Ted, this is wonderful. What is it? It's lovely. Uh, this is a, a a young man that I I. I didn't run. He was sitting a couple seats away from me in a coffee house, and he was blind. I don't know if you see his cane here by his finger. He guess the way he put it down, I guess, so he can get a hold of it. <laughs> and he also looks to me to be, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I but, love that hat. That hat is, is very uh, uh, French. Yeah. 18th century yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's really really good um ted do you ask permission from the people that you take i'm just i'm just wondering because i don't do people no uh, uh no i don't but i don't try to sell these either I'm not, no 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 uh, no I, i'm just wondering because well, i would think that i usually I, ask people if i can take yeah. their photos well you, no i did not I, it's probably thoughtless on me but no, no 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 i i ask my friends i say do you can i take a picture of you well, he was there, that light hitting behind him and everything. I, I think it's I think it's great. I'm going to you know, start yeah. taking pictures of people. It looks so much like a painting. It does. Yes. It does. And here's here's a case where I think, you know, what I said before about filtering, uh, you know, masking the, the subject. But here's a case where the filter actually works really well with the person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's yeah. uh, it really, really cool. Very cool. I think it's very instructive of how you might paint, it sort of shows how you would paint that subject. Yeah. You know, it just the really highlights the, yeah. the, the brights and the shadows yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's a, a lot of unity and then the red vest really pops and yeah. makes him the, the center. Even though there's some other details, there really actually isn't much other detail um, at all. Everybody knows what a coffee cup looks like. So you started with a great composition and you made it better. That's yeah. what's right. And what 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 filter was that then? The the the, uh, the filter I think was like watercolor. Really? Yeah. Well, I think you must have some really super filters because. Uh, let me see. I could do it right here. Filter. Wow. Filter gallery. Wow. Um, wow. Artistic. I think it was something like. Well, it wasn't palette knife. That's for sure. <laughs> ew, ew. Okay, well, I'm going on top of an old film. It gives me some work. ideas then. Poor man. But it was one of too the... much behind the curtain right now, is it? I love yeah, that. Really. I think that's beautiful. And this was the close-up of the guy. Um, 
Well, the, one of the reasons, Ted, the last one worked too is because of the colors. You know, yeah. that black, that very strong black and that very yeah. strong red. And then yeah. that sort of cup color, whatever that is, is, is just, um, and then the background colors, it just works. It's this Yeah, is the whole thing really just wonderful. fits together. Yeah. And you had to have such sensitive hands, too. So. I like the way the mic is. Yeah. Well, that's it. Very nice. Well, very nice. Oh, very oh, unusual. Show oh. the other one again of the man. Oh, okay. Sorry. What? I was good. The close up, the one you, you started with, the close up of the man with his head on the concrete was. Uh, yeah, when you do the close up and you show the filter, that looked pretty, that worked pretty well too, I thought. Oh, now, that is really, really good, uh, yeah. Ted. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, Mick, uh, you want to go next? Sure. All right. Share screen. So, a dumpster. Nice. Blue one. This is a big thing. This is like a compactor, <laughs> but it's the same company that does the blue dumpsters. So this was like, I don't know, seven o'clock in the morning in Port Richmond. And there's a, there's a way I go home after looking at some other old industrial buildings on a, on a small street and this big dumpster with all the streaky lines coming from all the garbage and stuff was like really caught my eye because it was like kind of glisteny and weird. Um, it's just in my sketchbook. So it's a real quick kind of picture. It's kind of cool when you think about what you're seeing, like the top of the dumpster is like almost sky color because of the you know reflections and so on, all the light coming in. Go ahead, you want to go in? And then you get some of the intense blue and, and those are like leaves and stuff down below it, just like all kinds of detritus that's sort of gathered there. So it was really only like these three colors all, all in, like the yellowy color and then the, you know, well, I guess four, the orangey burnt umber color, burnt sienna, and then the blue and the, the green. So the compactor thing was sort of rusty. That was pretty hard to get all that. I can zoom in actually kind of. Uh, does this it work is, like that? This is three know. colors. Man. So here's what happens when you zoom in. So Mickey, yeah, like the leaves and stuff. Mick, you said you're working with three colors? Um, typically, plus some um, with the addition of neutral tint. It's watercolor. So yeah, burnt, burnt sienna, ultramarine, and uh, the other one, raw sienna. <laughs> Yeah, so, like yeah. the texture that you're getting there with the pigment on the on the black top. I like how the pig, the pigments sort of separate out. Oh yeah, I like sort of did some dry brush kind of stuff in order to. Oh well, that was probably yeah okay. That was a little white. I cheated, but yeah, like I was scraping and trying to get things to work too. I and mean, this is really close to something which is only uh, half the size of that in real life. So yeah, it's sort of sort of really seeing it now. <laughs> close up so let me see i think i have to go back one to go what i want to do yeah so the we did the, right. this is a copy of a hopper <laughs> so Thanks. we we were doing the thing um for the new exhibit inspired by greatness or whatever it was called so i've always liked hopper's early stuff if you go to in, in fact this is incredible if you go to the whitney his wife was hopper's sort of um you know handled his estate at the end and she gave everything to the whitney so they have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of his pieces sketches stuff that goes back to when he was like 10 years old so some of his early work where he was i think really successful were, were these watercolors that he did the funny thing is i didn't know i only did this a few days ago i didn't know that the whitney had all this stuff and i looked at a copy of a copy so i got the colors all wrong but i learned so much copying this thing so it's only like five inches by six inches or something but this is what i was looking at before i did the inspired by greatness thing that i submitted so i mean he's just doing the most subtle little things here with the shadow where it humps over this roof and you just catch a little bit of that curve now i didn't spend a massive amount of time drafting this out but i wanted to make sure i understood what he was doing with the colors and i love how he does these multiple washes where he's getting streaks so i really tried to follow that stuff and figure it out and the way the light just is hitting just a few of those things and you know that those are individual 
chimneys. Even though most of this stuff is just kind of like black. It's like all palette mud. It's just all murky. But there's just enough red and enough raw sienna so that it looks like something. So this is a really awesome exercise to do. So I don't know, like, how do you guys feel about copying other people's work? I found this to be hugely inspiring to do this. Yeah, I think you just made the case for it. You just made the case right there for why you would do that. Yeah, you learn so much. I know people who have amazing watercolor artists, and um, all they did was they studied John Singer Sargent because mm. every technique to perfection, yeah. but that's how they learned how to handle watercolor was just copying Sargent's. It's probably a good idea. I should, should look at some of those. <laughs> when Cezanne wasn't out in the field, he was in the Louvre copying. Who was? Cezanne. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's pretty impressive when you think about how they had done these, like sitting up there on that hot roof and stuff. That, that's what really blows you away and how he was able to come up with this. I mean, I like the subject matter too, but here we go, go past the dumpster again. So then I did this one a little bit earlier in the month. So I wasn't here last week. I would have showed this one last week if I was here. So this was early in the morning out in um, more like North Philadelphia somewhere. I just love all this industrial stuff. That's, you know, I take out mm -hmm. most of the people or all the people. <laughs> I like the way you did the lines. Yeah. The um, electric lines. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's like always the last thing because it goes on the sky. So I've disciplined myself to not make them too thick, try and get the perspective right. So this might be the main line of like the Pennsylvania Railroad or whatever, the, the Amtrak. So, because there's a lot of little tiny little wires. So no trains went by when I was there at all. But, um, you know, a lot of this stuff is like rust color. So you, it's a lot of fun trying to figure out exactly like how you want to do those model, modeled colors. And I feel like I always kind of overdo it when it comes to like the stuff that's alive, <laughs> like the plants. I probably got went too much detail with that. Oh, but good. It is, it's rather full for your work, but I think it's, it's great. It, okay. it sort of, it draws you right in with that tunnel, nice. with that overpass. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like I figured out how to, I did a lot of reading like handprint.org or whatever and like looking at and reading about some of these other artists and how to get real darks without black. Like yeah, I ejected black about a month ago. So now I, I mix up like this incredibly cool palette mud. <laughs> um, you really have to go for it. It takes like six layers to get that darkness, but yeah. You can tell if you use black because it always looks fake. So trying to get the unity, like splashing those dark colors around everywhere, I think is helping. So this isn't that big. This is six by eight inches. And then the last one. So can Hopper I again. Can I ask something about oh. the last one? I'm sorry? Can I, ask, can I ask something about the last one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the graffiti up, like the faded out graffiti in the mm. upper left. That's yeah. That's just wonderful. That's there wasn't that's, a lot on the um on the other wall. Oh um, yeah, 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 that, yeah. That was that right there. Cool. Oh really yeah, sun baked. So I just tried to you know. See, I'm glad you read that as graffiti. Oh, it wasn't graffiti. It is. No, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I copied that verbatim. <laughs> I don't know what it says, but. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. You, you have the knack of making every brush stroke count. Yeah. Mm. Thanks. And also, um, they're, it, they're, it's not tight. You, you zoom in on them, they're, they're loose like they should be in watercolor. But they all cohere and they make a statement. Cool, thanks. All right, good. Then I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> That's encouraging. Still have trouble with the plants and stuff. but So visual sort of shorthands. So after looking at the Hopper stuff, Hopper has a picture that actually looks a lot like this. So I, wow, went somewhere finally the other day. I went to Lancaster, which is a really cool place to visit. And the trains were real cheap. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to Lancaster. So I didn't really take any pictures or really look. At, I looked at, I was there all day. I looked at all kinds of really old buildings, but the most successful sketch that I started was this one. And then I finished, you know, I finished painting it when I got home, but, um, it, it reminded me of something that Hopper was doing. There's a picture that Hopper was standing on some rooftops and I was like, oh yeah, here we go again. I'm still looking at his stuff. So 
it was just this really dramatic, it was still early in the morning how the light was coming in and just striking this one building. So um, it's not an old building, it's like the hospital or something like that. But just again, like trying to figure out like, here's a real strong sort of, you know, reddish color, then the green, so their complements. And then this whole base of whatever that limestone type stuff is. And then trying to get the right to just kind of go away and like not put a lot of detail there. And I, I think I was getting close because I, I think there's enough dark to go with the light. Um, but then these windows are really punchy, right? I mean, I don't know if I scanned this in very good, but I, I just loved how you got just enough detail there. It's hard to figure out what color you want to use when you're using a shadow. But so the visual shorthand stuff is like trying not to do the trees really detailed, right? To kind of leave them alone just kind of let them go because you know that they're trees and just focus on these windows. So this is the last one I've, that I've done in the series. So hopefully. I have a question for Mick. Yeah, I have yeah. a question. This is Mike. I'm curious what a scene like this, in addition to you, you keep referring to your sketchbook and I'm assuming that you sketch the image. Do you also photograph it to remember the colors and all of the things that you're seeing, but of course you're not painting it there, you're sketching, am I right? Yeah, sometimes I, I paint it, I start painting it a little bit, but um, depending on it, depending on if I have something to rest the book on, because I don't have any sort of way to do it. So if I, if I can sit on a curb or something, I, I can paint a little bit. I don't often finish them there though. Um, but yeah, so I'll take a picture. Usually I take a picture when I'm just about to walk away, which sometimes is too bad because the light changes. <laughs> but yeah, I usually take a picture. Nick, I would like uh, I was, to volunteer that I was born in that hospital, so it's pretty old. <laughs> oh, you know it. Okay. So it is the hospital. I thought it was. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Nick, I, I really love the building on the left. I think I can tell that it's a brick building. Mm -hmm. Those and it's a little older. I don't know. Those those window frames look a little older than real modern. Um, you haven't done a lot, but I can I can tell what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's that's hard for me to to edit that right to leave stuff out. Like I could have started putting the grout lines in the brick or something, but like I've I'm starting to learn that that's not necessary right because it's mm -hmm. all the way on the edge and good so you can tell it's older it's brick it's sash windows or whatever yeah that's all i needed just to pull a little bit of that red color and to balance some of the warm colors on the right yeah mm -hmm. cool also the building on the right uh you really caught the uh, windows very well it's so simple yet uh really look like windows yeah thanks cool yeah Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Fantastic. All right. Very good. Great. Great. Um, let's see. Uh, Janice, do you want to go? Susan, this is for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Now, you can see it, right? Oh, boy. Oh, oh that's that great. To that's what I said to you. Yes. That this was, you said that it was a pain in the butt. I, yeah, well, I just didn't know where to go with it, but I figured it out. I like oh, it. boy. <laughs> Great. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a I lie. just started seeing that, that hand, and, you know, it's not done um, anatomically correctly, but it serves the purpose. That's great. See, you know what? I, what I did, the way that I made that, that first image was I just did a, it's a trace monotype. And I just took um, like a pick comb and I just kind of like, I used my wrist and I, I just dragged lines and lifted it up. And when I saw that, it did remind me of fingers like this. And that's what I thought of you. I just thought like Janice is going to find that hand holding something hopeful. I just kind of thought you would yeah, I, that's what I, where I thought you might land but I could never You're predict right. this. <laughs> nice, nice color choices too yeah Thanks. oh my god I know it was Bob's idea <laughs> and then you went back in with charcoal or something 
No. Did you go um, back in with dark? What was that? Um, no, um, it's, oh, I can't think of the name. You know, those pens. Um, Sharpie? Sharpie? I think it was acrylic. Thank you. <laughs> like a micron or something? Yeah, and this, this area here, um, I pasted some, uh, some of a mask, <laughs> you know, the masks that we're wearing these days. Mm -hmm. I ripped off some of it and, and blotted out the top and the side here. <laughs> I was going to ask you if that was a, I was going to ask if that was a paper towel, because it had, <laughs> so is it, is it like one of those paper masks or? Yes. Yeah, because it has a, a very papery, like I, I really thought it might be paper towel. Um, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> what's, what's the circle made out of, Janice? Oh, um, that is a coffee can lid. Um, you know, the inside of the lid is silver, so. Oh, well, what, uh, what kind of lid? Coffee. Um, oh, well, okay, all right. It's shiny aluminum. Shiny aluminum. See, that's the great thing about using an envelope. Like, when you send it as a postcard first and then as an envelope after the treatment, you can get three-dimensional because you can get it through the mail. Yes, because it's in an envelope. Oh, so this doesn't have to come back anymore. This is the final, the final. Well, she's going to mail this back to me, but yeah. the way it goes is somebody initiates and mails it to somebody else. That person completes it and mails it back to the initiator. So this is postcard size, so it's pretty small. Four by six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff happening in that little baby picture. That's cool. Yeah, that's really fun. It seems bigger. Yeah. Okay, and um, then last week I showed um, a bunch of my photo collages, and um, and Susan, you said that it was too much to look at a bunch of them on one page, so I'll show them one by one, but I'll go quickly. Not too quickly. Very nice. Not too quickly. Quickly. Not too quickly. No, no, no. no. Very nice. No, no. No. Oh, too quickly, too quickly. Back up, please, one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I need to look at this. Thank you. Can we talk about that? Janice? Uh, sure. Can you go back? No, okay. Well, th these are layers in Photoshop. Um, one of them is uh, um, the sunset, uh, a sunset photo that I took, and I have that on top of another um, photo that I took and another photo and I just I juxtaposed layers and and um, erased certain sections so that what was underneath could show through. I can't get UFOs out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and this is actually uh, the that top part. Amazing. Ah, cool. The top part of this. Yeah. Because I I, I, I saw, oh, I was trying to change its shape, and I saw this section, I said, hey, <laughs> let me just look at that. Yeah. They're like yeah, that map paintings for like a uh, science fiction movie, or, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. a science fiction. <laughs> uh, I love your face palettes. I, I think you're so masterful with color. Thank you. I, yeah, beautiful color. I color. <laughs> color and cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now, this one was a painting of mine in the in the the lowest level. Then on top of that is um, uh, another sunset, and then this was a still life. So you know, again, three layers. Mm. And this was that's nice. That's <laughs> lovely. I like that. <laughs> this was from Bob's microscopic structures. <laughs> And I, I used two of his, this one, and this one, and that one. And then that was against a still life that um, I had taken. Uh -huh. And then last but not least, here's this one. Yeah. And uh, let's see. I think that's just two layers. Okay. But one's a still life, and obviously one's a sky picture. Wow. Me. Like fantastic worlds. You're taking us Very somewhere nice. far, far away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Have a good time. Janice. Can you go back one? 
sorry? Can you go back one? Just, yeah. Because I, now those lines, you also had red lines in, in one of your first ones. The, the lines really, yes. Yeah. How, how did they happen? That, those, those yeah. lines are amazing. Good question. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, I do. No, I know how. All right. The still life, the still life that I was using was a round ball. I don't know if you've heard of witches' balls or friendship balls, but they're just transparent glass balls of different colors. Some of them will have kind of a weaving inside of it. And uh, so two of those showed through. Huh. Um, and okay. that's cool. But they really add something, those, those, those straight yeah, lines. Yeah, they do. I agree. Yeah, you're showing a, a talent to take all these various different things and make all these components into something very special. That's like, sh they all look like they're yours. You know what I mean? Like there's very, it's very clear where your hand is and it's this special talent to combine all these crazy things. <laughs> so cool. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous. I was going to ask where, what the red sphere was, but you said. Yes, this is the same red yeah. sphere but treated differently you could do a whole red sphere series i know <laughs> i've already done a blue series ah <laughs> okay that's it gorgeous right, bob i'm not sure if you got my little chat message that neela is joining us tonight and she actually has work to share oh there she is yes <laughs> okay Let's see if I can do this. Bob, you're muted. Oh. So, Neela, you know how to share the screen then? I have something on the desktop. So, do I share? Touch the share screen first. Yes, there's a yes. green, like a lime green the share. Green, the green thing. Okay. What happened to Bob? Is he? I think she's tracking him down now. You should actually open it before you click share. Have it yeah. open. It is open on the desktop. Okay. <laughs> So I click share. Yep, share screen. You have to do it again. The word share will appear in the lower right again after you click on that. Huh. Oh. And then you select the thing that you're trying to pull up out yeah. of the multiple click on the thing that you want to show and then hit share again. Okay. I don't think this is working with me. Is it a green button on the bottom of the screen? Yes. And you're clicking on it, right? I clicked on it. Okay. Well, Bob. <laughs> Look for another, a blue button that says share. If you've clicked on your. Yeah, yeah, he's right. You have to do it twice. I don't see that, yeah. Yeah, I don't see it either. I always see it when I, after I select the image in my lower right-hand corner, there's a blue, oh, yeah. blue button. Right. So, I will try again next time. Oh. All right, heroic, thanks. Okay, please do. Please okay. do. Yeah. Anders, do you have anything? I can show some sketches. They're not recent, but I came across them and they haven't been seen. Um, if you want to see them. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. They're, uh, done at the Forsyth Nature Preserve down at the shore. Wow. This is obviously very quick. 
Uh, I was actually sitting under a tree and a hawk landed uh, above me. <laughs> I desperately tried to make something of it. The hawk kind of went away, but I like the uh, sketch. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Is, is that Chinese books. ink? Are you using Chinese ink on that, Andres? Uh, at the top and then very dense charcoal. It's kind of, uh, it's very rough. Beautiful. Can you zoom in a little? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we, we had something in the way. These are uh, quick pen drawings. And what is very bright here is actually silver ink. And then the photograph, and when I photographed it, it, you know, reflected. So the, this is, these are small. They're about eight by 10. The other, the other two are big. I think we're, we're only seeing one of your images. Yeah, we're seeing the hawk tree. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Okay, can you see that? Uh, nice, yeah. nice. That's very nice. Uh, okay. The silver. That's yeah. very nice, Andrew. Ooh. Oh. Now, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. very nice. Too. Okay, now we're okay. Yeah, these were all sort of done the same time. They're they're rough. They're not nearly as uh, nicely finished as as mix work, but they're rough kind of ink sketches, ink and. Oh my goodness! And there's another. You they're see that gorgeous. one? Oh. Yeah. I guess yeah. we're okay now. Once again, that the shiny stuff is is silver ink. Well, it really it works. Wow. This is a <coughs> floor or something, but uh, uh, Andres. The marsh marshland. Yeah. How big is this one? They're uh, they're about eight. Yeah, maybe they're about. Uh, oh, I guess they're about ten by fifteen, maybe something like that. Okay. Well, it's a nice finished piece. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's layering. Very it's nice. Size and lighting. It doesn't look like this unless the light catches it, you know. Yeah, the light. So. Uh, yeah, they're exhilarating. That's what yeah. I found. They're exhilarating. Very nice. Oh, Very nice. This is big. This is 18 by 24. And once again, it's uh, mostly uh, charcoal. I guess I was trying to get the light and they're looking in this, this uh, river in perspective. Uh -huh. mm. wow. And this, I kind of like, this is, uh, uh, you know, a couple of trees, but um, wow. this kind of, I would call this a kitchen sink. It's got everything, <laughs> uh, you know, graphite, ink, uh, white paint. Um, <laughs> so that's about, that's about it. They, you know, I just thought I'd, you know, sure. Very nice, very nice. I like the yeah, the light. Capture the light. Yeah, yeah you, it really looked like in a couple of those. Yeah. It looks like when you can see the sun shining behind the cloud. Yeah, yeah, really, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome yeah. stuff. Okay, uh, Mick and Sarah, do you have uh, anything? Mike and Mike. Mike. Sarah. <laughs> I, I Mike. 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 <laughs> I used to be Nick, but <laughs> yeah. I think Susan You're has muted. something. Okay. Oh, wow, that is cosmic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Am I looking at? Sure, wow. sure, 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 sure. Wow. It's like a TED, a TED project. <laughs> <laughs> like an airport. Nightmare. <laughs> Who's sharing? Who that was That's, like the uh, end of uh, uh, 2001. See. <laughs> you better go to, wait, wait, wait. Where's that? That was uh, weird. Share in the lower right corner. <laughs> Here? Watch out, you're not abducted. Um. <laughs> You're a robot, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this new Windows 10 is driving us crazy. Uh, <laughs> speak for yourself, mister. Yeah. Um, All right, well, let's. Yeah, you better go on to someone else. 
Yeah, Isn't although I, hear me? I, I got a preview of your stuff. It's really good. Uh, oh, you can show those if you have them. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pull. I'll, I'll try. I'll see if I can. Um, but uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, Susan. I'm Susan. Yeah, I have something. I have, I have more than something. I haven't shared in a while. So I... I want to start by saying that I want to show um, work. Diane did this fabulous program on um, uh, kitchen table printmaking. And I really wanted to show her some of the things I was playing with. And then they have to sort of like sketchbook and paste paper, um, you know, rubbing. So let me see what I can do here. All right, so I've been busy. Uh, well, that's Shibori. I've been dyeing fabric. Oh, so that's, wow. you know, so I'm kind of all over the place. Like one week I'm dyeing fabric and the next week I'm oil painting and the next week I'm mono printing. But anyway, that's something I did oh, I last week with indigo yeah. dye. <laughs> that's all kinds of I fun. That's like, a, that's therapy. This is actually, um, I have a dead bird in my freezer and I took it out and sketched it. Mm -hmm. And then separately, and it's been in the freezer for months. I mean, I sketched it in early spring. But when I was on my walk, I picked up a clump of grass after a lawn was mowed and I printed it. And lo and behold, it's like mimics the sketch that I did of the dead bird. Yeah. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. So I, I might just leave it. I don't know. I, I, I just thought that was an interesting thing to look uh. at. <laughs> and OK, so this is, um, this is actually hot glue. And I, I made this pattern like on a silicon mat, you know, with hot glue. Mm -hmm. And this was, I, I made this like in a printmaking class a couple of years ago, maybe last winter or two winters ago. So anyway, I was playing with Diane, some of the techniques that Diane taught us. So I pulled this mat out. So you can tell what it is, right? It's just like hot glue in a, in a net kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to see what I could do with it. And so this is um, a flat piece of, of graphite. You know how they sell it? So it's like a mm -hmm. rectangle with sharp edges. And I was able to just pull the lines down and it made this very interesting three-dimensional wonderful, ropey stuff. Mm -hmm. So then I started to do other things with it. This is on paste paper. And I went back with some kind of color. I just don't, don't remember what I did there. But anyway, the same idea, like, you know, just breaking up, but getting all this from that one thing. Wow. This, again, yeah. is on paste paper. And this one was using a, um, probably a lithograph crayon. You know, see, you can see how black it is. Mm -hmm. But just finding ways that I could shift the page on top of that mat, you know, to get all kinds of interesting marks. And as I was doing this, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm trying on my Anders, you know, because... Yeah. It, I don't, it just reminded me about it. This is a tiny piece of paper. But again, I was just seeing what kind of marks I could make. And this is graphite and uh, black, like that Taylor chalk, whatever you call that stuff, litho crayon. This is very Anders. That, this yeah. is, it's the same thing. It's just like moving the mat. Way and too after color. Over there, I said, God, this looks like, you know, this looks like a fake Anders. <laughs> so then I decided to pull out my pastels and make it a more real Anders. <laughs> the, fake, the fake Anders are always the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was amusing myself. I showed Ron and he goes, that looks like Anders. I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> okay, this is something that um, I sent this to Neela, who is here tonight. This is a postcard. So, of course, you're seeing it like five times as big as it actually is. So I sent this to her. And this is what she sent back to me. Interesting. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Nice. And yeah. Nick, do you want to tell them what this is? It's paste paper. But uh, you put the paste right on the paper, right? Correct, for the red. And then the other pieces, the, the X and the little dots, they were pieces that I cut up and then pasted down. Mm. So they sort of mimic the shapes that you had. It's a very happy piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. yeah. yeah. Isn't that a guess? I just love that because this, the piece that, the, what we started with, this is actually a cyanotype that I did at the Plastic Club. And, um, and after I did, so it started off being, you know, this sort of blue, gray, and white. And then I just added watercolor on top of it. Right. And 
to get that look right and i was like to leave a little bit of white and um and and so she continued on with that translucency so i thought that was an interesting conversation that we had so then she sent me this again it's a postcard four by six Ooh. and that was a creation with paste paper and there's again you can see that you know the translucency and the energy of these lines and um, anyway, it just looked to me like it, it reminded me of like something with the ocean and maybe rocks or something floating on water, you know. So I just felt like there was a lot of energy there. Yeah. So I added more energy to it. Mm -hmm. So I turned it into that <laughs> color is weird. You can tell the colors don't match because of the way I photographed it. But this is the Kraken and the fish and the fins, you know, the attack of the Kraken. <laughs> That was a little bit of whimsy, but I have my own paste paper in here. To, th these are all paste papers, except for these are cutouts of something else. I love the creatures. Yeah. So this is, I sent Neela this wash, and today I got this gorgeous drawing. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Yes. Very nice. And I loved that she turned it on. Okay, you talk, Neela. She turned it on its side. Where yeah. somebody else might have seen that as a landscape. Mm. Right, because the blue could have been sky, the oranges could have been ground or earth. So I just kept turning it around until I decided which way to do it. It was really a happy piece with all those bright colors. Well, it's watercolor, but like Mick was talking about how many, how many layers it takes to get a real strong black. Yeah. Uh, in this, I really did. I, I used many layers of, of color to get that rich, richness. So that's not just one layer of blue. You know, that's like I, I, wa I did a wash down the page um, a whole bunch of times. I, I usually set up a bunch of sheets and do that to get the richness of the color so it doesn't look wimpy. Do you work on more than one piece at a time? Yes, I do. And especially when we're doing the postcard images, the setups for the postcards. Um, when I'm doing washes, I do several at a time because they have to dry. Yeah. And if you're doing one, you might as well do more. And, and, and I have certain ways that I like rock the page and it's a lot of fun. But, you know, you, you, you really, when you get into it, you want to do a bunch of them. Yeah. So that's Andy. I don't know. Did you guys see this last week? <laughs> okay. So I sent, again, the watercolor. See this here? And this was the watercolor wash. And then I just, this is like a bottle cap maybe stamped and this is corrugated board stamped. So he got the color statement and I mailed this to him. And since he's a cartoonist, he made a cartoon out of it. Why mermaids don't play tennis. So they don't, so he looked at this and this reminded him of tennis balls apparently. Oh. And then see, she's opening a can of tennis balls. They don't play tennis because the tennis balls float up to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so maybe that's the end. Of, so that, anyway, that's that's the fun nice. I've been having. So nothing too serious. It's a a lot of fun for me this week. So okay, stop share. Thank you. Very nice. Very, Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. A lot of oh. different things going on there. You've got a lot of cool yeah. ideas across a huge spectrum. Well, I I like to I like to um, I'm sort my spirit animal is an otter. I like to play while I work. <laughs> and that's, that's the spirit that I take this stuff in. Anyway, thanks. Let's, it's, it's 10 after 8. Uh, why don't we go back to Jane? Jane, do you have your photograph? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You really need the beer can stream. Yeah. yeah, yeah definitely right. captured the spirit of it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jane. Sure. Yeah. Jane, I have a feeling you're going to be, you're going to place those red solo cups and then you're going to figure out, right? <laughs> you're going to figure out what, how many more references you need. <laughs> oh, the re yeah, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. And we'll we, we'll watch as the week go by. You you work slowly, but uh, you do beautiful work. Yeah. Well, that's funny. You should say I work slowly because I've tried to work quickly, so I have something different to share. Yeah. 
the plastic <laughs> club has made me work quickly when they have um when there's a theme each month <laughs> so well, diane do you have anything uh, no i don't but i i just wanted to say to jane i i like watching the paintings develop i'm glad from, from, <laughs> you know it, yeah. it's that's really fun to watch so take uh take some shots of its progress that'd be fun to see i i will <laughs> Ron, for you all. Yeah, Ron, do you have anything? I do, I do. Mm -hmm. see. Um, the visible. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Oh. Just beautiful. Bucolic. Wonderful. Wow. This is the uh, grounds at the Clark Institute in, um, uh, what's the name of that place? Williams, Williamstown. Williamstown, Mass. Yeah. Massachusetts. And again, it's that oil. You oh, know, yeah. It's just it's almost too easy. You know, it's just really nice to work with, in my opinion. When it's, I guess, my favorite filter. And then this last week, Bob, I showed, I showed this, this thing last week. And you said that you wanted to see uh, the original um, overlaid on this, so I did that. Mm. Uh -huh. And then I started playing with the blending options, and so then I got like this. There's a little nice. crop in here too. Nice, nice. Yeah, so this is kind of the favorite, my, my, the one I like best of the ones. That, I like that too. And then this one too, which is just a Very little- Very nice, crop. very nice. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Bob, for the advice. That was uh -huh. a good idea. And then let's see what else. So this was another one that um, I just love these expressions. Now that I look at it, I you know look at it, I think that the hue needs to be adjusted. This is a little too yellow or something, but um, uh, you know, uh, and then the background was just really boring and sort of distracting. So that at the very same show, this was in the Appalachian Mountains, they had a basket of, um, you know, that somebody had woven. So, uh, you know, again, the oil paint filter uh, applied to the ba to the basket. Uh, mm. You know, so. But I don't know. That's my bro my son uh, saw this. I posted this on Instagram. He said, "Trippy, Dad, trippy." <laughs> <laughs> so, and then this one is just one I just looked at. I haven't. I only spent like five minutes on it. I, all I did is change the background to black and white. But I just because I was trying to think, how do you bring it out? This is like not even a good photo. But I just love this. The oil that creeps <laughs> orange with the so I don't know if this is, is really workable, but I just love the orange can with the oil that creeps with the orange juice that you drink. Well, they're the same liquid, actually. That's what Wawa doesn't want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's I, I should post that as a as a uh, you know some text on it. But Wawa doesn't want you to know. But the site where this was taken was a site where the uh, University of Pennsylvania used to have a, um, um, a um, what do you call it, observatory in Malvern, Pennsylvania. And it was unique because it had something called a siderostat. And I think there were only two or three in the world. And a siderostat is a telescope that is actually vertical. And the mirror is at the far end. And you, you, know, you sort of focus it by moving. I, it's, it's some sort of a strange t uh, uh, telescope. And, um, but that was just too far away from the University of Pennsylvania, so they decided to tear it down. And, um, and so this was some of the, the construction debris that was laying around. Oh, man. And um, Very interesting. that's the dome, you know. And then I just played with that a little bit and sort of came up with this. Oh. Uh -huh. It seems a little bit like, you know, it's a reflection in water. So, but, yeah. Powerful shape. I, yeah. yeah. Love the shapes, yeah. Composition strong. Yeah. That's it for me this week. I'm busy trying to uh, do what I can to uh, elect somebody other than Donald Trump. Sorry, folks, if you're <laughs> political. Please do. I'm working hard on that with, with a committee of people. <laughs> uh, I have Sarah's uh, uh, images that you sent me. I think I can show them. Uh, let me see. Share screen. 
Can you see that? No. No. I just see Jane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> All right, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, oh. nice. Okay, this is a series that, uh, well, Sarah, you and me want to explain them. I'll run through them. Okay. Wow. That's that's with a deep art? That's like super spectacular. Yeah. That is really good. Deep art. Yeah, these are all mannequins that I've used. So right, I was right. experimenting with some of the things that Bob showed us, the websites, and uh, using my own uh, faces, you know, from the mannequins that I've uh, used right. over the year. Very creative, I think. Very beautiful. Are they, are they, have you did any, did you do any post processing after the filters, or just is this a straight the way they came out of the filters? Yes, yeah, and and some of them are uh, several filters on one. I don't know if when you do a second or third, do the first and second disappear? But yeah, um, but I didn't do anything afterwards. I just wanted to focus in on the face because I'm very interested in the face and the expressions. Um, what different things you do to the face, what it does to the face and the expression and what the outside world thinks. Very, very good, Go ahead. Sarah. Very nice. Very yeah. good. This is my favorite. But Super uh, focused, like really. Well, they're all, they're all very unusual and beautiful. Very yeah. beautiful. All different. Yeah, I did more today, um, which of course I can't show, but yeah, I've, I've been uh, enjoying experimenting with the different things that I'm learning uh, from all of you. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have a quick redo? I figured things out. Pardon me? May yeah. I have a quick redo? I figured things out with the right. yeah, yeah. complex program. Okay, thanks. All right. Can you see that? Yeah, we no. see James. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can get things out. Uh, uh, James dancing. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, and now we see Ooh. that. Yeah, I saw it before. So, um, we've got that. And we have this. Ooh, very nice. This is the finished one. <laughs> and and uh, then this finished. Yeah, we saw that also. It's yeah. my favorite. And and uh, back to the frozen top now finished. Yeah, that's the one we really like. Yeah. Oh, that, you know, it looks like a watercolor. I, that, mm -hmm. I find this one very interesting. Because uh, you don't do watercolor, right? Is this acrylic? No, I, I haven't got the dexterity to do watercolors. This, these are oils. That's an oil? That's so crazy. Okay. Can you, is there a way to get up close on that? I'm just like the clock, for, for example, if we can get a close up. Let's see. Uh, there. You Tracy, did it. It's amazing. That, that does oil. Wow. It's <laughs> incredible. That looks. Yeah. Yeah, it could have fooled me. Yeah. What I do is I use wires of student grade oils, which aren't very pigment rich, and then I finish up with the artist grade oils, which are much more dense. Huh. So that gives the effect of that watery finish. I think. <laughs> yeah. um, the truth is I'm too cheap to paint 36 by 48 canvases and canvases around that size with full artist grade oil treatments. <laughs> so uh, I just, you know, 
do the main body and the student grades and then uh, highlight everything with artist grades. So very nice. That's my story and and I'm glad you like it because these paintings have caused me so much stress over the past seven weeks. <laughs> uh, At least you have something to show for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really lovely. Yeah. Really nice. Lovely. Yeah. yeah, I think this is really astonishing, this piece here. This, uh, can you give us a title for this one? So inventive. This one? I guess I haven't really titled this one yet. Very strong with the clack. The title. Okay, but it's very strong. Yeah, a lot of weird scale shifting, and it works so nicely, though. So, so cool of a jumbled up composition there. It's very nice. Thank you. Like, did you go on a trip or something? Is that where these are? Yes, I, I went on a Mediterranean cruise last year. Oh, yeah. wow. And I saw so much of this gorgeous brightness. I came back and asked someone if I could please, please, please hang on my, do all this Mediterranean work and hang it um, the next year. And she looked at my old work and said, well, all right. And like I said, before things went crazy with COVID and, um, and so I only found out at the beginning of July that they wanted the paintings, even though there's no official art loop. And I thought, oh crap, <laughs> I guess I better do some. Are they up yet? Oh uh, no, they'll be up on Thursday. And um, I'm, I'm going to hang them with some of my older work, which I've been giving makeover to. Um, and a couple of pieces that I'm actually almost satisfied with. And uh, I think it's going to be a great venue for it. And I hope it goes well. I do too. I hope you'll yeah. take a picture to share with us. I will indeed. Oh, yes. Take several. <laughs> I will. Um, very good. Very nice. I, I have to leave everybody, so oh, I, I have, have a great week. I have to leave. I got an important call. Okay. All right. Well, I'll skip my. I'll show you next week. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.